Good afternoon. Welcome to F.J. Turner High School's graduation ceremony, honoring the class of 2020. I am Senior Class President John Hill. Before I begin, I'd like us all to take a moment of silence for our late friend, Michaela Hoffman. Thank you. The class of 2020 has done some quite interesting yet memorable things over the last few years together. Things such as our global studies time capsule, the notorious jewel scandal, the seniors TPing the school, and the coronavirus scare. The memories, priceless. The friendships, everlasting. I've learned so many countless things over these past four years one key thing being to follow your hopes, dreams, and aspirations, and to never give up. To all the parents, grandparents, and friends and family, thank you so much for all of your guidance throughout the years. I know it can be hard with us teenagers. We think we know everything, but, all, but in all reality, we are just beginning to learn about life. We may not have listened to you at the moment, but trust me, we heard everything you said, and we thank you so, so much for everything. We love you guys. To all the young kids out there, never, never, never give up on your dreams. If it's your dream to sing with Billie Eilish or dance with Lizzo, you keep on dreaming because you can do it. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. If you believe it, you can do it. Just keep on pushing on and do it. Never give up. We've been there for each other since day one, through the good times, the bad times, the happy, and even the sad. I've even sat down with some of you guys and we talked through things and it was fine. It felt good to just let go and breathe. You know, sometimes that's all you need because even the strongest of warriors sometimes need a soft shoulder to cry on. One time things got so bad, I was at my wits end, I prayed and prayed and I was asking God, why am I going through so much? Why do I have to suffer through all these things? And you know what he said? He said to me, John, you're this close to success. Don't give up now. Don't throw in the towel just yet. I put you through all these trials and tribulations because I knew you could overcome. And that's the very reason every one of us is here today, ready to go off and venture out into the world because God saw something in you that you couldn't see for yourself, something deep inside he saw potential. He saw someone who wasn't ready to just give up and call it quits. He saw someone who wanted to go out and be a lawyer, a doctor, a psychologist, another Martin Luther King. He saw another person who was ready to go out and make that change. He saw you. Now I know that the coronavirus and quarantine may have things looking all doom and gloom, but I'm here to tell you that you've got to pick your head up, hold it high and keep moving forward because this is not the end of the road. The class of 2020 is special. We have so much more life to live, so many more things to give, and so many more people to inspire. So just remember, stay persistent and steadfast within your works, and always continue to move forward. We can do hard things and overcome challenges because we were born in the time of 9-11, and we are now graduating in the time of a worldwide pandemic. So that's it for me. Thank you so much, F.J. Turner High School, for putting up with us for all these years. And class, I know it's been a long time coming. We couldn't wait for this day. But just know, this is only the beginning. Remember, stay strong, stay focused, and stay true. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you. Good afternoon, class of 2020. Whether you're dressed in your cap and gown or sitting in a t-shirt and sweatpants doesn't matter. All that matters is that we finally did it. We finally graduated, even though it might be an unorthodox graduation. The past seven years at Turner have gone by incredibly fast, and the past nine months have no doubt gone by in a flash, especially April. Does anyone know what happened to that month? First, I would like to mention something almost everyone has thought at least once this year. That wasn't like High School Musical at all. Where are the flash mobs in the cafeteria? And I'm sure the basketball practices weren't choreographed. In other words, 
These are not the circumstances I, or any of us, fathomed when thinking about how our high school experience would end. The past few months gave me, and probably most of you, ample time to reflect on moments we missed but wish we hadn't. There are too many times I wish I had spoken up in class, cheered on the Trojans in the student section, and taken advantage of other experiences specific only to high school. But that's in the past, a point in time no one has control over. We cannot relive it, but we can revisit it as a class with our shared memories, from our cringe-worthy, awkward middle school phase to the slightly more, young, more mature young adults we are now. Look how far we've come from memorizing that list of Greek stems and roots, surviving the Virus Project and Diversity Fair, making websites for global studies, public speaking in Mr. Watkins' class, running slash walking the last required mile run, and finally, ending our senior year with a pass or fail grading system. That simplified a lot for us, didn't it? For all of us, there is so much we can learn from the past, but there is only the present to enjoy and the future on which to focus. Next, upon doing some research, I came across the fact that the Latin word valedictore, meaning formal farewell or to say goodbye, is the root of the word valedictorian. After learning this, I knew I wanted to leave you with an unforgettable goodbye, but we've said too many goodbyes to too many moments of our senior year. So instead of this being a formal farewell speech, think of it more as a semi-final so long. Another way to put it is to liken graduation to punctuation, or more specifically, a semicolon. There is more to follow. We might not know just what it is yet. For many of us, our first graduation will not be our last. And as a new member of the class of 2024, I hope our next will not be virtual because making history once was enough. For others, graduation will lead to a new path teeming with new possibilities in the military, trades, and other incredible ways you will contribute your talents to the world. Our yet undiscovered future awaits exploration. And though it may sound intimidating, remember that at one point in time, we were naive freshmen dreaming about our future this present moment, and here we are now, awaiting a new future. Always remember that when something ends, it may seem final, but what follows is a semicolon, not a period, and you decide how you, how you want to continue your narrative. This defining moment is not the end. Finally, I think the best way to conclude is with thank yous. In all honesty, I think thank you is paradoxically both overused and underused. How many times have you said it when you genuinely meant it? How many times should you have said it? With that, I would like to thank you and I encourage you to do the same. While social distancing, of course, if you choose to do so in person. Thank you to my friends for lending me your advice, whether I chose to take it or not. I don't say this nearly enough, but thank you mom for offering me encouragement and always supporting me through everything. From filling out my first course selection paper to college applications. Thank you to all of the teachers at Turner, whether I had you or not. I know I never talked much, or at all, in your classes, but know that I always had the highest amount of respect for you. No matter how much writing I had to do for APUSH and reading for AP Gov, how many hours of studying I put into AP Chemistry and AP Calculus, or how much time I needed to finish just one painting, know that when I, and many others, are reminiscing about our high school experience, will always be the exceptional staff we will remember. Thank you. And even though we are graduating, I'm sure any teacher can attest that we left lasting memories with them as well, whether fond or the exact opposite. Of all the things High School Musical oversimplified, it was not wrong about making friendships that will last a lifetime, creating funny, sad, and unexpected memories we will carry with us throughout our lives and overcoming challenges that seemed impossible at the time, but those are what turned out to be the moments that meant something. The most fitting last words I have as a student of Turner High School's class of 2020 are, we were truly all in this together. Congratulations. Hello everybody. Thank you for coming to Turner's virtual graduation. This sure means a lot to all of us seniors. Traditionally, graduation speeches have a reputation for being overly long or imparting fast wisdom or revealing some universal truth. Mine won't be exactly like that. First, don't worry, I promise to keep it short. And second, 
Instead of teaching a big lesson, I want to take this time to pay tribute to some people who taught me lessons. While I'm doing this, think about all of the people who have been teachers in your life. They could be a coach, a friend, a school teacher, a family member, even a principal or vice principal. Thank you, Mr. Kepin and Mr. Bright, especially for all that you have done these last two months under these extraordinary circumstances. While you think about your experiences, I am going to brag a little bit about Turner's teachers because they are absolutely amazing. My Turner experience has mainly been defined by academics and music. So teachers, you know who you are. I hope I don't embarrass you too much. In particular, I'd like to start with Miss Alby, Miss Langer, Mr. Smutzer, Mr. Otremba, and Miss Utke. Even though she's no longer here, I hope she's listening. No matter the challenges, you five made learning fun. You have been my advocates since day one and have been sounding boards and editors for some of my best and worst ideas and projects. Miss Alby, Miss Langer, Mr. Smutzer, and Miss Utke took time to teach me how to do statistics and design experiments for independent science projects. Mr. Otremba and Mr. Smutzer's elaborate science Olympiad state plans to sweep away the competition always brightened my day. These plans included, but were not limited to, inflatable dinosaur costumes, monogrammed lab coats, and sabotage. Just kidding. To diffuse stress among her quarantined AP Calc students, Miss Alby, following correct social distance measures, of course, hand delivered AP care packages that included pictures of her dog, along with motivational slogans, pencils, and erasers. Next, I'd like to thank Mr. Rosenthal and Mr. Brown. So many students have had formative experiences in your classes. You may be part of the big, goofy, welcoming, and talented music community at Turner, and taught me that playing music was to share a piece of your soul. Mr. Rosenthal sometimes gave motivational speeches all about self-confidence and happiness. In fact, choir students have dubbed these Tim Talks because of their similarity to TED Talks. Mr. Brown loves to challenge his band students. We have played everything from pieces with six different time signatures to pieces with no time signature at all. He is so good humored that he successfully brought two buses full of band students to Florida. Mr. Brown is also the king of engaging analogies. Never did I expect the air coming out of my French horn to be compared to a carrot. There are so many wonderful teachers at Turner who go above and beyond. They come to school early and leave late. They have persistence and constant good attitudes. I don't know how they somehow get groggy teens to learn and grow at 8 a.m., but it's a superpower. I could go on with my list of anecdotes and fond memories, but I promised to keep this brief. So whoever these people are in your life, make sure to thank them. They were the ones to never give up on you, who made time to teach you invaluable lessons, who made a difference, whether they knew it or not. We must recognize that today is for all of us. I mentioned at the beginning of my speech that I wasn't going to impart any vast wisdom. That was a little bit of a lie but my graduation advice is simple. It's just two powerful words. Be thankful. Good, good afternoon, Turner community. Today, we take this time to honor the work and dedication of our graduates. We also take the time to honor the work and dedication to all of you who helped get them to this point. Parents, caregivers, family members, and additional supports, you are the first and most important teachers our students have. We thank you for your partnership, in particular this year, where many of you have had an increased role. School staff, in all your critical roles, administrative assistant, bus driver, cafeteria support, counselor, custodian teacher, volunteer, and all others who have contact with our students throughout the day, the emotional energy, in particular these last few weeks that you've all have had to give to your work, to your students, is appreciated beyond these words. Thank you. In a traditional ceremony, I'd give recognition to those who have announced their well-deserved retirements by asking them to stand. Today, I ask that you send gratitude to the following people in our district. Deb Bruckner, Shelley Krohinke, Mary Deegan, Deb Heitkamp, Joni Nichols, and Anita Printer. 
Thank you for your dedication and thank you for your time. In just a few short moments, I will announce the presentation of graduates. Graduates, your names will be read with an image of you that we share with our community so that they too can see the young men and women we're so honored to soon call F.J. Turner High School alumni. Many of you have chosen to share a message of gratitude, advice, future plans, or memories as well. Individually and collectively, you all have accomplished so much and our community has so much to be proud about who you've become and what you've done and how you will impact the world you are going into. But before that moment, I have the greatest privilege to be the last to speak directly to our students before they complete this important rite of passage, especially in this unique time. You are graduating during the time of a global pandemic that's infected millions, resulting in hundreds of thousands of deaths that shut down not only our local economy, but most economies around the world, closed down our schools and put a halt to socialization of all kinds, sporting events, grandparents seeing their grandchildren, visiting restaurants, weddings, your graduation. These are real losses that will require real grieving. And this most certainly will not be the last time you experience real and heartbreaking losses in your lives. But amidst grief and loss is the opportunity to rise. As your class president mentioned in his welcome, you began your lives amidst a great tragedy, 9-11. And look what you've accomplished and look who you've become. I'm certain your parents were fearful. They were fearful at the time about the world you were entering into, and yet you thrived. Evidence of our resiliency as a people. And so now too, you enter your adulthood amidst the time of great tragedy. There is much fear and there is much unknown, but I believe in you and I believe in our community's resiliency. We will rise out of this time as we have risen out of others, and you, our newest adults, will play a key role in the way we do so. You can define this time. The time does not need to define you. Graduates, you are done with high school, and this is no small feat. It's been a 13-year project. You're going to be missed by all of us at Turner. And now, we will be seeing you and your messages come across our screens. Lean in on the hope and optimism you see. I cannot wait to see what you all accomplish. And so, members of our Turner community and the Board of Education of the School District of Beloit Turner, it gives me great pleasure to say to you that all of the individuals who will shortly be announced have completed all requirements and are certified for the honor of graduation from F.J. Turner High School and the School District of Beloit Turner. Valon Alu. Dario Francisco Alvarez, Jr. I'd like to thank my mom and teachers as well, Mr. Kemp and Mr. Bright for helping us get to graduation. After graduation, I'd like to pursue a career in law enforcement. William Jacob Armado. My name is William Armado. I would like to thank my teachers and my mom and dad. Miranda Estella Avila. Caleb Owen Berchi. Hi everyone. I'd like to thank both my parents for getting me where I am today. I am very excited to start the next chapter of my life. Andres Richard Beltran. My name is Andres Beltran. I would like to thank parents and teachers for the last four years of my life. I would like to thank you for the water and business. Alyssa Sue Bennett. I'm thankful for my family and teachers' support through all these years. Colton Ismael Berger. Chloe Anna Bittorf. 
Next year, I am attending UW-Milwaukee and I'm majoring in art and design. Trevion Allen Bivens. I like to thank everyone that's helped me throughout my entire high school career and that have helped me grow as a person. Those people know who they are. Thank you. Kennedy Leanne Brixen. Big thank you to my friends and family for supporting me for the last four years of high school. I uh, couldn't do it without you guys. Gabrielle Ann Bristol. I would like to thank my family and friends and teachers for supporting me all of these years. Mickey Jameson Burroughs Jr. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my family, and my teachers for all their support. Rachel Aaron Berzinski. Thank you to my family, friends, and teachers for helping me succeed, and I'll be continuing my education at Rock Valley College. Alexandra Joy Campbell. Tana Lee Campbell. I'd like to thank my family and all the teachers, especially Ms. Davis, for the support over the four years. I wouldn't be where I am today without you. Jackson Donald Carter. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and coaches for getting me to where I am today. With that being said, I will be attending Rockford University. Jayla Jordan Chansey. Go. Kara Evangeline Christofferson. I'd like to give a huge thanks to my family and my teachers for supporting me. Grace Marie Clark. I would like to thank my parents for all their love and support and helping me become the person I am today. Mackenzie Lynn Conkle. I would like to thank everybody that has supported me through my high school career and I will be continuing my education at St. Anthony College of Nursing. Celia Ann Cotter. I'd like to thank my parents, my grandparents, my teachers, and my friends to where I am today. Isaiah Michael Krekka. I'd like to thank my parents, my grandparents, and my sisters, and my brother-in-law for helping me get to where I am today. Gabrielle Edith Deaver. I would just like to thank my family for always pushing and supporting me. I will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater next year to major in education. Kenneth Max Draving III. Thank you to my coaches, teachers, and family throughout these last four years. I will be continuing my education at Upper Iowa University to play football. Nathan Allen Draving. I would like to thank my family, my friends, and my teachers for helping me along the way. I'll pursue my education further at Edgewood College in Nursing. Isaac Robert Field. Xavier Nicholas Fisher. Sky Fay Folk. Next year, I will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee studying computer science. Mason Riddick Fournier. I would like to 
like to thank my teachers, my parents, and my coaches for pushing me to be the best I can be. I can't wait to continue my academic career at UW Oshkosh. Sophie Catherine Falk. Next year, I'm attending Blackhawk Technical College in the Physical Therapy Assistant Program. J.C. Rain Janung. Thank you to my mom and dad for all the support, and this fall I will hopefully be attending Bullock College. Alexia Nicole Gonzalez. I just want to give a huge thanks to everybody that's helped me get to where I am today. My teachers, my friends, and most of all, my family. Olivia Macy Grant. I would like to especially thank all the teachers and my family for all the help and encouragement they have given me. Trey Alexander Grinke. I'd like to thank my family, teachers, coaches, and friends for a great school experience. I will be attending Grand Valley State University to study business. Tyler Allen Grutch. I want to give a special thank you to my family, especially my mom, my dad, my grandma, and my brother. Benjamin Scott Gurkha. I just want to say thank you to my three favorite teachers, Mr. Watkins, Oak Trumba, and Mr. Fossil. Devin Tyler Harbison. I would like to thank my parents and family, teachers and coaches that have helped me reach this moment. I will be pursuing a degree in aerospace engineering. Emily Marie Hartje. I'll be attending UW Green Bay this fall majoring in education and I would like to thank my parents and grandparents for getting me to the point where I am today. Diamond Marie Hartley. I want to thank my family for making this possible. I'm going to Chicochi University in Janesville, Wisconsin. Desiree Renee Herman. I'd like to thank my friends and my family and my teachers for helping me get to where I am today. Andre Perez Hernandez. I want to thank my friends, teachers, and also Lisa, and most of all my family for being there for me throughout my whole school year. Thank you so much. John Curtis Hill. I'd like to thank my parents, grandparents, and everyone who helped along the way. This was a wonderful experience. Maya Ali Hill Brown. Allison Ann Hoffman. Thank you for everyone who helped get me here. Micah James Hoffman. Looks like I made it. Dylan Charles Hoppy. Carlita Ann Hauk. Thank you to my friends and family for supporting me. Madeline Grace Hauk. Thank you to everyone who has supported me these past four years. Austin James Johnson. Courtney Nicole Carrick. Thank you to my family and friends. I will be attending the University of Whitewater next year to study elementary education. Sydney Barbara Kennedy. 
thank Mr. Rosenthal and my cheer coach, Kayla McLean, for doing my insanity the most, and all my friends and family for keeping me grounded and always supporting me. Madison Elizabeth Kilday Thiering. I would just like to thank my family and friends for believing in me and my teachers for pushing me through the last four years. Leah Marie Kramer. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and teachers for all of their love and support. Grant Benjamin Crines. Casey Lynn Krieger. I want to give a huge thanks to all the people that helped me become the woman I am today. Very cool. Erin Maureen Larson. Thank you to my friends and family for supporting me through my years of education. Shane Matthew Larson. I would like to thank all the teachers who have supported me throughout the years and help me plan my future. Martin Lavriega Jr. I want to give thanks to my family, my friends, my teachers. Thank you for everyone who came and supported me throughout my years. Thank you. Colin Paul Leader. Thank you to my mom, my family, and everyone else that helped me get here. I couldn't have done it without you. Ethan Wyatt Lillard. I would like to thank my family and everyone who has helped me along the way. Ismael Carlos Lopez. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and coaches for getting me to this point. And with that being said, I would like to announce that I'm going to be teaching this year. Storm Rage Lund. Thank you to all my teachers family members and my friends for getting me this far. In the fall, I'm going to college, and my favorite memory from school is fifth grade camp. Alec Jamison Mack. Jordan Hanif Majid. I want to thank Turner High School for all the unforgettable memories these past four years. Next year, I'll be attending Iowa Central Community College to play basketball and major in business. Keegan John Markort. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and coaches for the support. And next year, I will be serving my country in the U.S. Air Force. Azaria Shanasia Martin. I want to thank all my teachers, coaches, and family, and I cannot wait to further my education and athletics at the University of Dubuque. Justin Christopher Martinez. I want to say thank you to my friends and family for being a starting point this milestone of my life. <laughs> After graduation, I'm going to attend Black Hawk to get my gym. Sarah Ann Matisak. Dominic James Montour. I'm thankful for my parents, grandparents, family, and friends for their love and support through my years as a student. Thank you. Slate Torcell Nelson. Thank you to uh, my parents, Mr. Bright, Mr. Captain, Ms. Davis, and Mr. Richmond. Jennifer Francisca Neo. I want to say thank you to all my teachers and my parents for helping me get to this point. I love you guys, and I can't wait for the next four years at UW-Madison. 
Megan Michelle Ottinger. I would like to thank my parents for where I'm at today. I am excited to continue my academic career at Carroll University to study nursing. Kyra Marie Puglio. I'd like to thank my teachers, coaches, and especially my parents for getting me to where I'm at today. I'm excited to continue my education at UW-Milwaukee. Brady Mitchell Rydell. Thank you to my parents and the rest of my family for helping me get to this point in my life. Next year, I'll be studying sports management at uw Wilson. Andrew Edward Reese. Next year, I'll be attending UW Stout, physical therapy, and play baseball. Alejandro Miguel Rodriguez. Thank you to my family and my teachers for helping me succeed. Katrina Natalie Roser. I would like to thank my family and friends for helping me graduate. Savannah Page Ross. I want to thank my family and friends for getting me to this point in my life. Jack Thomas Charlot. I'd like to thank my friends and family for getting me to where I am today. Special thanks to my mom and dad and Team 55. Marlenis Alexis Segura. I wanted to thank everyone who has helped me throughout my journey, especially my teacher, my friends, and my family. Next year, I'll be attending Georgia State. Ryan Michael Sennett. Thank you to my family, friends, teachers, and everyone who has made these last four years so great. Gabriel Angel Servant. I'd like to thank my parents, the students, and teachers on helping me get to the next level of my educational journey. Colton Payne Skilling. It was fun. Marcus Aaron Smith. I'd like to thank all my teachers and my family for supporting me throughout high school. Rebecca Joy Smith. I would like to thank my family for their endless support. I'm looking forward to continuing my education at UW-Madison. Sincere Robert Stelter. I'd like to thank my family and teachers for where I am today. I am ready for my next chapter. Dave Ontrell, L.M. Strong. I would like to thank Belay Turner for four years of academic and sports, and next year I'll be playing basketball and majoring in computer science at a junior college. Noelle Christina Swanson. Thank you to all my family, friends, and teachers for all the support. I couldn't have done it without you. Emily Louise Taylor. Thank you so much to my family, friends, and teachers who have helped me get to where I am today. I couldn't have made it without you guys. Zuleika Tutla. Alden Robert Tinder. Thank you everyone for being with me along this journey. Brielle Renee Trotter. I'd like to thank my family's friends and teachers for making me believe that no matter what, I am always capable. 
Preston Reed Vines. Thanks to my family and all the teachers that have supported me throughout these four years of high school. Go Trojans! Brett Daniel Wade. Madeline Nicole Warren. I'd like to thank my parents for pushing me to do better in school and I'm going to UW-Whitewater for our education. Derek Sherrard Wash, Jr. Huge thank you to my family, teachers, classmates, teammates, and coaches for their support the last four years. Anne-Marie Memorando Wilmer. Thanks to all the support over the last four years, I'll be attending the University of Nebraska-Lincoln for psychology. Ruby Catherine Wilterdink. My favorite memory in high school was my band and choir. Bailey K. Windsor. I would like to thank my parents for supporting me, and I'm excited to be continuing my education at UW Oshkosh. Claudia K. Whitwer. I'd like to say thank you to all my family and friends, teachers and coaches who have got me through the past four years. I couldn't have done it without you. Beatrice Hannah Yude. I'd like to thank my parents, my grandparents, my teachers, and my friends for all of their love and support. I can't wait to see what the future brings. Marley Imani Young. I would like to thank my teachers, coaches, family, and friends for getting me where I am today. I'm excited to be attending Carroll University in the fall. Alan Roger Zerfus. I want to thank my family for supporting and helping me through all high school. This fall, I'm going to Rock Valley to get my AMP license. Hunter Leon Zitlow. I'd like to say thank you to my parents for where I am today. In memory of Michaela Ann Hoffman. Class of 2020, it is my honor to announce that you have earned your status as a graduate. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your story. Congratulations.